Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Why Fucking Plates. Today we're trying out the Card Crawl Adventure, the demo. This is a light deck builder with a sprinkle of roguelike elements. We engage in a unique path-based combat mechanic to battle against devious tavern bosses. We visit a variety of cozy taverns to collect cards and improve your uh, deck with magic equipment items and charms. Let's see how this goes. It's got an awesome art uh, style. I think I played a game similar to this by the same guy, Arnold Ruer. God, I'm going to ruin that name. Um, on my phone a while back. So, um, yeah, let's see what it's all about. Enter the tavern. Okay, so we're choosing a person to play, I guess. Let's just go with the first character. A rogue. A scoundrel. Not the most talkative adventurer, but her daggers are swift and deadly. The scoundrel's starting item is the hidden blade. Deal blood to the first monster, maybe? Skull you attack each turn. Oh my gosh, look at the artwork. Jeez. Full on. This reminds me of um, Battle Wizards or something, the card game. It's kind of cool. Deal one damage and bleed to the next monster or item deal bleed to already selected monsters okay well let's um jump in all right we've got the tutorial i think welcome adventure my name is herney her her herney take a seat and grab a cold drink i'm showing you how to play all right i'll grab a drink the goal of each game is to play through the deck three times and reach the exit card of the tavern at the end of the third shuffle. A full adventure consists of completing five taverns with increasing difficulty and challenges. At the start of each shuffle, your cards and the cards of your opponents are shuffled together to create a new draw pile. Okay. Each turn up to nine cards are dealt from the draw pile onto the game board. Fair enough. Cool backs. Okay, very simple to start with. Each turn you have to at least select two cards by clicking create a path. The path can start at any card, but only adjacent and diagonal cards are to be connected. The path is allowed to cross itself at any point. The path is allowed to cross itself at any point. You can always deselect cards to create a new path. This way you can always plan your next move and check the different options you have each turn. Now select six cards to create a path. To confirm your turn, click and hold any of the selected cards for one second. Cards that you have selected will be discarded into the discard pile. All discarded cards will return in the next shuffle. Destroyed cards will be permanently removed from the deck. Okay. Your character has health, strength, and gold. When your character runs out of health, the game is over. Be careful. Okay. Wow. Now we've got people. Many cards require strength to be selected. Strength cost of a card is displayed on the top left. Okay. When you run out of strength, you can continue to select cards, but instead of strength, you will lose heart. Note that it is important to keep up an eye on your strength, since there is only a limited amount of cards and actions that replenish your strength. Okay. Let's play another turn. Okay, so we get a maximum of seven strength. So this deals one damage. So we could do one damage to this guy. And we'll lose one strength. That did one damage to us as well as strength. Because that's that on that side maybe. So that guy's dead. And we didn't lose health. This guy can be dying already. Because we... Where's our damage? 
Where's our actual strength? Can we go back onto this card? No. Okay, so if we do that and that, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That seems pretty good to me. Four, five, six, seven. We get three. Why not? We get teeth. We could have kept that there, I guess, and used it again. Oh my gosh. These, the sequence of cards in your path is very important. Selecting two attack cards in your path will deal a total of two damage to all monsters in the same path. The total amount of damage you will deal is automatically calculated and displayed on the top right corner of the card. Now use your weapon card to defeat at least two of the monster cards. Okay, so we go like that. Doesn't seem to go down. We don't need health, so then we gain back that. Alright. When the draw pile is empty, one shuffle is over. Each game consists of three shuffles. Okay. At the end of each shuffle, all discarded cards and new cards from your opponents are shuffled together to create the new draw pile for the next round. Oh, he's got more monsters? Bonfire. Uh, before the next round starts, you can rest at the tavern's bonfire and select a reward. While the cards get shuffled, you rest for a moment and warm the hands at the tavern's crackling bonfire. Replenish your character's health. Add a bonfire. Add a bonfire. Three might and three health. At the bonfire, you can choose from the different reward types. Bonfire cards are added to the draw pile in the next shuffle and only appear in the current tavern. Reward cards like the replenish will instantly reheal your character. Okay. Add the bonfire. So do we when we use a weapon, does it not come back? I'm not sure. Well oh, it's energized. Cards can have different status effects. Ranging from fire, ice, electricity, chaos, or poison, and bleed, which can add or change behaviors of the card. A card with a freeze cannot be discarded for one turn. A card with shock has its action disabled until the next turn. You can learn more about status effect by looking at the tooltip card. To display a tooltip, click and hold a card that is not selected. Try it out now. Well, that's dangerous. Shock. It's disabled. With... Shock has its ability disabled. Wears off at the start of the next turn. Okay. Most card actions activate by selecting them. For example, attack cards that deal damage by... But many cards have keywords that trigger in different situations. The revenge keyword triggers when a card receives damage. The endure keyword triggers at the end of the turn. And the discard keyword triggers when a card is discarded. There are even more keywords that you will learn by looking in the tooltip of the card. Okay, let's play another turn. Okay, we've got a revenge. Monster gains one extra health. So we want to kind of go this way, potentially, but we kind of need damage before we can. We could go across here. What's this do? A freeze, a card with freeze cannot be discarded after being selected. Freeze wears off. Isn't that good? We don't get the ability of it though. That seems good to me. I don't know if we should use these or not. So if we went the other way, he would have given health to the other people that wouldn't be able to kill them easily. The goal of each game is to complete three shuffles and reach the exit card to finish a tavern. Okay. Each tavern also has three optional tasks. Defeating the tavern boss, looting the tavern treasure, and completing the tavern quest. These tasks are completed optional and do not need to be completed in order to win a game. 
Completing optional tasks will reward you gold, which can be used to improve your cards and character. To summon the tavern boss, you need to defeat a specific amount of monsters. The exact amount of you'll need is called the boss counter to display at the top of the bar. Three monsters, guy comes. After you defeat enough monsters, the tavern will become angry and join the game. Okay. He is angry. Let's play another turn so the boss can join the cards on the board. Okay. All right. We actually do need that, so we'll take that. Because then we keep the sword on there, which seems like a good idea. Deal through bonfire. All right, take that one. Then. Oh, it gets added. Okay, cool. Use your attack cards to defeat the tavern boss this turn. Done. Oop. Interesting system. Why you, there should be a button that you can just click to start combat. A new tavern opponent comes. You can always open the tavern menu to check which tavern quest is currently active. The tavern has no house rules. Defeat the tavern boss and complete the quest to earn extra rewards. Kill him, get one. Quest, select all cards in one turn, reward one gold. Okay. A key. The third option task is to collect the tavern treasure. In order to open the tavern treasure, you have to complete a specific task. For the broken key treasure, you have to assemble the chest key first. Once open, you can choose one of three treasure rewards cards, which will give you an extra gold. Let's play another turn. Okay. So if we do... Like that. This should be okay. We're not gaining the best amount of strength, though. We could have left that. Oh, we should have taken that as well because we would have got a gold. Oh. Next attack deals double damage. Remove strength of all cards this turn. Oh, well, that's pretty cool as well. Let's take that one. There's only really one person with strength. What does this guy do? Adds the cards to your deck. Each tavern has a merchant card that will give you the option of permanent to permanently add one or three of three new cards to your deck. Select the merchant in your path to gain a new card for your deck. Okay. Oh, then we're going to unlock the trash treasure chest. Okay. How do we get everything? Let's get that first. That'll be fine. Because we get every card then and we get a gold. Hello, merchant. Deal two damage, deal one damage, deal one damage to non-adjacent monsters. Wow. Block and reflect the attack of the next monster. That's pretty cool. Let's just, let's go with the arrow. Is this another boss? Alright, our complete quest is complete, is that right? We've got more to tell me. To finish the tavern, you need to end on the path of the exit card. <laughs> this is hard to get up that. But be careful, each tavern has its own barkeep that wants to play your bar tap before you leave. So to pay your bar tap. Rest deals zero damage, increase attack by one. To pay your bar tab before you leave. Oh, okay, he wants us to pay it. Now finish this tab by selecting the exit card last. 
pay one gold to rest it deals zero damage increases one swords by one i'm not sure what that means i don't know what that means We don't have any money. I don't know what he does. I guess he takes away your money if you have to land on him. I'm not sure. We're left and he's angry. When you have finished a tavern, you can select from the tavern rewards and improve your character cards or add new equipment that will help you on your adventure. These are the basic of card crawl adventure. You can reset the tutorial or look at the game manual for the settings menu. Okay, cool. That's what I did. <laughs> All right, let's have a little jump into a normal, normal game here and see how we go. Do we do a different character? We played that character. Let's jump into this guy, shall we? Pyromancer, a master of the flame with a slight obsession to burn things. The Pyromancer's starting items are the oven mitts. Oven mitts, the first card with fire you select each turn does not deal fire damage to you. Okay, okay. Spell, reduces the damage of all spells by one. The might of all spells by one. Deal one fire strike deals fire to one card you one fire increases fire by one after selecting a card with fire okay i don't really understand all that but we'll work it out maybe we're not allowed to play with him yet we can't play with him yet we have to play with uh the lady all right might be a good thing the task deal bleed to five enemies in one turn that seems like uh, hard uh defeat seven monsters with bleed through the tavern okay and then it unlocks those okay cool all wow, right look at all the different characters there are okay on the first adventure, I'll make the game a bit easier for you. Well, that's nice of you. Okay, so we've got to complete, kill the boss, and select all cards at once. So it's the same as the tutorial. Let's do it. Blade, blade, endure. What does endure do? Endure triggers the ability when the turn ends. Oh, so if we don't kill him, he gains two health. Revenge deals a lightning to one card. Deal bleed to all already selected monsters. Bleed deals one at the end of the turn. Can't get bleed. So if we want to... I don't think it matters. I think we can just go... Oh, it'd be good if we selected everyone, but we don't have, we don't need bleed on everyone. That's interesting. So that's all done, isn't it? If we select every card, we get the one gold. Let's do it. Tavern quest completed. All right, he's going straight in. He's angry. Fair enough. Why do we get this? Deal one and bleed to the next monster. Okay, so that should be that guy. Um, yeah, this is going to get harder now. So two people are bleeding. So we gain two might back. We gain one piece of the key, potentially. Gain five might and do one damage to him. We may as well. I think. 
We do take a bit of damage there, though. We've got to start doing some damage to them, though. Okay, so now we're at the bonfire. While the cards get shuffled, you rest for a moment. Gain one gold. Add a bonfire to get miked. Or gain all our health back. I don't know. I guess we'll gain some gold to start with. Ooh, could be bad. Risking it for the biscuit. Okay, okay, okay. So we should try and do as much damage to this guy as we can. But then we can't really end on... Should we have not selected this until later? Is that what they're saying? Is that what they're telling me? We really should do that. Do we take this? I think I'm stuffing up the key. So we got him out of the way. We haven't got much might left. Now this guy's coming to take our money. We don't have enough damage. So let's leave that key fragment there because we can't do anything with it. Um, to bleed everyone. See, that's good. We've got no might left though. Does this cost might? Jeez. We've got no might. Wow, this is easy mode. It's going to get difficult. Uh, we need might. Slot that in there for us. Oh my gosh. We haven't got enough monster uh, thingy gigs. So do we get that? Add a card to a deck. Oh, that might not work now. Do we do zero damage to that guy? There's no point in going for that guy. Holy moly! So we're going to die here, I think. So we can kill one of these. So we just have to walk over them to... See, that kills everyone except this guy. Do we want to hit that guy as well? Maybe we'll grab that. Grab that as well. That seems pretty good, actually. Everyone bleed. Oh, gosh. The, I think they just need a button that you click. Instead of holding it with the end turn button. Uh, replenish your character's strength. That sounds pretty good to me. Give me a, give me a flagon of ale. Okay. We've got the two key fragments. For each guy would bleed. We're gonna only have one guy would bleed. Oh, that guy's bleeding already. All right. So if we take that, 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 does that then open up that? No idea. And then we take that and we hit that guy, that guy, gain that, and that guy. Let's see, we get the key. Oh, damn it. Okay, so we should have kept that chest there. Wow, choose a card to add to your deck. 
Deals zero damage, increases it by two after selecting a spell. Okay. Deal three damage to the next monster. That's not bad. Uh, deal zero damage. Fire. Increase fire for each spell in your deck. Okay. Wait, this is a, a monster? What's the three health thing here? Let's get this guy try and work out what he does. Okay. Oh, he's just a he's just a monster to kill, is he? Why do we want to do that? Okay. Far out. Um, we do this right at the end, so we do that, that, no, that, 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 that. Why couldn't I select that? I'm not sure why. Already selected ones. Oh, they're all bleeding anyway. All right. Well, we don't need to make them bleed anymore. I don't know why everyone got bled. Maybe they're already bleeding from before. Okay. So we've got that. We've got this item, which, but we don't have the chest. So that's all we kind of need. I guess we get rid of more stuff so we can get the chest. We've got seven cards here. So let's grab that. And then hopefully we get the chest. Is that what we do here? No, because this is the round over. Is that it? We lose? No. There's the chest. Oh my gosh. Plus all the rest of the guys. So that's what we do? I guess so. We don't have to kill everyone. Okay, gain three coins, exhaust, ambush, gain three coins, adjacent cards increases their strength by two, exhaust, endure, gain one coin for each token ta taken. I don't understand all these 100%. I can't look at them. For each attack, fire, ice, taken. So maybe like when you go across them, you take them. Ambush, gain three coins. If what's ambush? Ambush triggers the ability once when the when it is drawn. Okay. Adjacent cards increase their strength by two, and then it gets exhausted. Last. Triggers the ability when this is selected last. Let's just go with this one. Wait, is that going to be added to our deck? Because we're off. We're not going to collect it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm confused. All right, we got our two rewards from our quest. So I'm just learning how it all goes, I guess. So you, once you open the chest, you then have to collect the chest. We did collect the Avon treasure, though. Tavern reward. Choose and add new equipment item. Choose and add a new tavern charm. Improve one of your character cards. Get a new item. Oh, cool. So let spiked hammer, crossbow, or oven mitts. Deal two damage to a random card at the start of each turn. Okay. Okay, we read the mitt. Uh, spiked hammer. Deal one damage to the first creature you select each turn. It might hit an item. Obstacle. Monster or obstacle. Let's go with the crossbow. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, because we can only take one, I'm guessing. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, merchant reward. Player gold three. We could buy one of these. Transform a card from your deck into a random higher tier one of the same type. That kind of sounds cool. So we can update our stand standard dagger. 
to be better. Deal zero damage after selecting a spell. Oh god, that's a bad one. We're not as wow. What do we got here? Discover two new taverns after you can you can decide which you want to visit. This is a pretty in depth demo. Select two taverns. Okay, so we've got four gold there. Oh, that's how hard it is. Why would we get more gold at this place? And then we can select which one we want. A random player's cards get cursed. A friendly card with curse increases its strength by one. An enemy card decreases by one. Wears off at the start of the turn. Okay. And we have the boss slime. Destroy split into two smaller slimes. Heal ten or more throughout the tavern. Or we have the Mogor. Deal two damage. A random monster becomes immune to at the start of a turn. We'll probably do Nightgale Rest. Dude, that's probably... No, we can do... Maybe one more. We'll try a slime out. Look at this dude. Alright, so that's cursed. That's bad. Increase its might by one. An enemy decreases by one. But it doesn't have any might, does it? Or is that might? Deals zero damage. After selecting a, um, a spell, increases damage by its strength. So this is going to cost me two bags, maybe? It's a little bit confusing here. First, select one of your cards to destroy. Unlock. Now we've got to get rid of one of our cards. First, select one of your cards to destroy. First. Triggers the ability when the card is selected first. Hmm. Breach with a bleed on it. Alright. So. Let's do that to that guy. Then we grab this because then we can bleed that guy. No, that's not going to work. We do him last. All right, then we go up here, I guess. Do something like that. We can't select a spell, so that's going to be a problematic. But we might be able to destroy it. No, I don't know how that destroy card works. Oh, nice. So that's our crossbow. While this card gets shuffled, the rest... Oh, yeah. Uh, remove all might of all cards this turn. Block all monsters exhaust. I don't think I've seen any fires. Um, okay, so what's this? Why has it got defense on it? Increases by... After selecting a spell. We're getting all these spell cards. So this is lightning. We can't even use it. This is problematic. Alright. So we have to select everyone. Something like that. Because now they're all bleeding. We probably should get rid of that too. I guess. What were the quests that we had to do? We had to heal a whole lot. Boss is coming in. Coming straight in. No, he's not. Okay, that's cool. Uh, alright, alright. First. Oh, so we have to select it first. Okay, so we'll do that. 
Remove all the might off all the monsters. This doesn't work this turn or something? Why is this doing? Oh, because it's not hurting us to hit him. But, okay, 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 okay. Come back, come back. So if we do this, does this, it doesn't matter when we do this. So if we kind of go, oh, because we, we're not doing any damage at all, apparently. We're not attacking this guy with anything. If we... If we do that, are we attacking that guy? No. Okay, okay. Oh gosh, we gotta click this first. What am I doing? So, we're gonna click this first, we're gonna destroy that. Let's just... Oh, do we not want to select that? Alright, let's do it. God damn it. Select a treasure reward. Last game, five gold deals five damage to you. Ow. That's alright. We're gonna heal. Alright, so that goes in there. Wait. Okay. <laughs> oh, we don't want... Oh, get a spell. Let's get the spell. I don't know how spells work. Now we've got rid of everything. Okay. Now we've got the bonfire again. We'll gain another coin. We have to work out what to do with all these coins. I guess we have been doing stuff with them already. Okay. Deals zero damage when we use a spell, though, it does damage. Okay. Bleed. That'll do nothing. We don't need to do that. That's cursed. Hitting him doesn't do anything. If we do that last, we take five damage. We could leave that... We'll leave the uh, apple then. And then we can pick it up next turn. But it's going to take... It's going to get two. It's going to cost energy to get. Holy moly. Okay, so this will now do damage. I'm guessing this guy helps us? What's the defense? Let's have a look at this card. Class ally. Type ally. Physical damage... Okay, so he just helps us? I don't know, we'll work it out. So, let's deal damage first. Then we... Wait, do we have to do this to actually gain it? No, it's got extra damage. It's might. I don't know. So, if we use this guy, he helps to attack people. But this will only be the first thing it hits. So we have to kind of like go like that. Well, that does a lot of damage. They're already bleeding. Okay, so we probably should kind of do... Something like that then. Okay, so will this thing gain damage? He splits into two smaller guys. Block all damage. Uh, the next attack deals double the damage. We'll take this one. Okay. 
Awake. Rest. Triggers the ability when the card is not selected at the end of the turn. Awake triggers the ability when the turn starts. The other small slime loses all status effects. Okay. Selecting a spell increases damage by its power. So he's bleeding. That guy's bleeding. It does zero damage. Don't we get one damage? I'm a little bit confused why this one damage. Oh, it only does that to the next person it hits. Okay. I get ya. Alright, so we want to hit that guy. We want to gain extra... Uh, then we bleed that guy. This does nothing? Is that what you're saying? Alright, we'll just leave it at that, I guess. So these guys will take a damage now? Yes. So that other sword I got rid of was actually really good. Okay, um, so we want to go like that, I don't know what this card's doing, after selecting a spell increase it, isn't that selecting a spell, maybe not, we'll leave it and see what happens. All right, we got him. He wants to take our money. All right, now we need to escape. Still doing no damage. I don't get what's going on with that. Um, Literally, we can just go. He does one damage to us, but we keep all our gold. Killed the boss. You failed to complete the tavern quest. Wasn't that just to gain health? Didn't we gain lots of health? And we can collect a treasure. Okay. Let's upgrade one of the cards. See what that does. Oh, Jesus. Um, can we see what it does? Oh, here we go. Turns into strike. Triggers the ability instantly without selecting a target first. Oh, well, that's really good. For each enemy with poison, gain one might and one health. That's kind of cool. Deal two damage and bleed to the next player. I think this is kind of cool. Merchant rewards. Transform a card. We should actually transform that staff because we don't know how it works. Remove a card from your deck and add three random character cards. Let's try that. Luckily, we got to pick that card. Choose a card to add to your deck. Deal three damage to the next person. Strike deals curse to one monster. It's pretty good. Strike, which is triggers instantly when you select a target, deals two frost to each monster in the same row and column. Ice damage. This one seems pretty cool. This is pretty cool. It's pretty in depth. Discover one new tavern. Oh, and we can only walk. So we could go here, though. No, only these two. Okay. Alright, I think we'll leave it there, just to show off the demo. Um, but maybe I'll come in here and finish it. Uh, and see we go. Like, this seems crazily large as a demo. We've got other characters we can play, etc. Um, I don't know. Oops. Oh, we've probably stuffed it up now. 
because we can play with all these characters, is that right? Do you want to continue a current adventure or abandon an adventure as you failed? I continue. Alright, alright, alright. We'll leave it for now. But there we go, guys. This has been Card Crawl Adventure. Pretty cool. I like it. There's so much depth in it that it's taking me a little bit for me to get my head around it. Um, but there we go. Very cool. You can you can uh, play this demo yourself. I'll put it in the description. Um, and until next time, White Falcon out.